From time to time on the Fusion 360 forums, I read someone asking the question, how to reverse the direction of a revolve joint. So let's just go through the process that I've come up with. So I'm going to be using the cylinder and the origin. The origin will be my rotational point in this assembly. So the first thing I'm going to do is place a joint origin on the fixed point of rotation, which is the origin of the model. So I'll pick on the origin and there is my joint origin. Say OK. My second thing is just to place a plain old revolve joint in position using the joint origin and the bottom of the cylinder. As you can see, it's rotating in a counterclockwise rotation looking from the top. If I right click on the joint and animate the model, you'll see the same thing. I'll kill that and I'll go ahead now and reverse it. Please note that the XY plane is on the bottom of the model. So the first step is to right click on the joint origin, edit it, and flip it. The problem with this, it flips it according to the XY plane. So I have to go to the revolve joint, edit it, and flip it also. Now you'll notice the arrow is pointing in the opposite direction. If I animate the model, you'll see that the rotation is a clockwise looking from the top rotation. Now let's move into a larger model to show how this works. I'm now in a more complex model and if I go into my joints I find one called drive me that I put in which is a revolve joint between this vertical cylinder and the base plate or the pivot block, port block, excuse me. So if I right click on that and animate the model, you can see it's going into a clockwise rotation and the wheel of course goes opposite. I'm going to stop that and I'm going to suppress that joint. So I'm going to suppress it. Now as you can see, that is free to move. I'll undo that to put it back in position. Now, as I mentioned before, the process is to first add a joint origin to the fixed component, which is the port block in the bottom. So I'll go and I'll scroll down to in my browser and find the port block. There it is right there. And right above it is right below it is the vertical cylinder. So I'll go up under joint origins, capture position. I'm going to then pick on the top edge of that port block and place it. As you can see in the port block, that joint origin has appeared right there. I'll leave it open because I'll need it later. The next thing I'm going to do is add a revolve joint back into the model and it's got to be on the very bottom, that chamfer right there and the joint origin. I can pick it from the browser and say OK. Now let's take a look at that. There's the joint I just placed. I'll animate the model. It's rotating in the same direction, clockwise, looking down the top of it and the wheel is going counterclockwise. So let's reverse it. If I right click on the joint origin, the order makes no difference edit. I'll then go to flip. Then I'll go up to the revolve joint. Notice it's all torn up. Don't worry about that. Edit the joint and flip this one also, which puts it back into position. Now when I go over and drive that joint, you'll notice it's going in the opposite direction. It's going counterclockwise while the wheel is going clockwise. So I hope you've enjoyed this method of reversing the direction of a revolved joint. Just remember, the joint origin must be on the fixed component. Thank you and hope you enjoy the video.